Blade from the Balls Visual Radio Studios. This is the Blades on Ball Show. Says, says here, uh, do you think Skulk Burger can impress us in 2014? Will he be the incredible Skulk again? Well, I think also, like Victor Matfield, I think Francois Lowe is, like, he wants to play for the box, and I honestly think that Francois Lowe is better than him at the moment with all his steals and... Okay, now here's the thing, you younger guys... <laughs> You younger guys, uh, Jay, who would your Springbok side be? Let's let's have it. Okay, well, at um, prop starting from one. One, I would have Kuni Ustazen. I think he's. No, 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 no. What's wrong with that? Well, okay. What yeah. about the beast? Sure, just let him well, be. Well, you see, I would actually have, I'd have, beast actually at number one. Then number two, I'd have Bismarck Duplessis. Right. Three, I would have Kuni Ustazen. Right. Then four, I would have Ibn Etzebeth. Right. Five, Peter Steph de Toy. Right. Six, Francois Lowe. Seven, yeah. Willem Alberts. Eight, Dwayne Vermeulen. Right. Nine, Frieda Prayer. Ten, Khursen. Johan Khursen. Yeah, yeah, I have Khursen. Mm. And then 12, I would have Jean de Villiers. And outside center, number 13, I would definitely put Jan Surf in 10. Mm -hmm. Then um, on the left wing, I would have Brian O'Banner. On the right wing, I'd have JP Peter. I mean, v Vili no, JP Peterson. And then at fullback, I'd have Vili Roo. And your great hero of over the years, Franz Stein, you leave him out. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, you have to leave him out. I agree. No, well, the Franz sorry, Stein's just got to get back into condition. Shape, shape. He's, he's shape. put on a That's bit of a, pie. Yeah. <laughs> Big put pie. <laughs> Big time <laughs> pie, brother. Yeah, Maybe no, you're like saying your, he's the fast prop. I like your team. Now I'm going to ask a few questions here. Okay. Okay. What was your highlight of last year on the rugby field? Mine. Yeah, or Jay's. Well, I I went to well, watch. Well, you know, you told me Francois Stein's try. You no, said. No, 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 no. That was my highlight of 2008. Oh, great. But um, I went to watch Ellis Park. Yeah. At Ellis Park, I watched the N New Zealand versus. The Springboks, so, and in the beginning, I loved Dwayne Vermeulen setting up uh, Brian O'Banner, my ultimate hero, Dwayne Vermeulen, mm. setting up right. one of the greatest scratch scorers. Well, that was my highlight of my uh, the, the game, the actual game, uh, Springboks All Blacks at Ellis Park. I thought that was the most incredible game of rugby. I yeah. love that game. And though we lost, amazing. I mean, uh, then that was the low. <laughs> I was losing. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Funnily enough, I was in Australia at the time. Peter Bodkin. Name rings a bell. Now, Peter Bodkin yeah, says, Do you think Skulk Berger can come back and impress in 2014? I, you know, Skulk Berger is a very good ball player. I mean, you know, a lot of people don't realize that Skulk actually played cricket for the South African under 19 side. And uh, he, he's uh, incredibly determined. He has still got uh, age on his side. And he's, uh, you know, I mean, he, yeah, l to answer your question, I think uh, that uh, Skulk can definitely come back and uh, be the incredible Skulk again. You, you might tell us what you think of, of Jay's Springbok side. Skulk will captain the Springboks in the next World Cup. Quinton Doyle, that's a statement and a half. Wow. Skulk will captain the Springboks in the next World Cup. Here's the thing. Talk to me. I, you know, I went on, there's a radio program called The Type 5 that's run down in Cape Town. And uh, they asked me to give an opinion on one or two things and what I thought about the Springboks' performance, which I thought is absolutely great. I thought they had a great year in 2013. They mm. lost twice, and that was both times to the All Blacks. Mm. So you can't say that's a bad season. I said the one thing that worries me a little bit is the average age of the Springbok backline. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. Is it too Actually, young or too old? Too old. Yeah. old. Exactly. Mm. And I think Jan Serpentine and JJ Engelbrecht will be yeah. great yeah, together. Sorry, Look at the no, balls. No, no, no. Hold on. You just haven't. You've just left JJ Engelbrecht out of your team. Yes, because we need an experience in the backline. Okay. And Peterson, funnily captain. enough, Peterson's not one of the older guys. He was very very young during the 2007 World Cup. But Brian Habana, would listen to this, folks. Brian Habana in his 30s. Jean, Jean de Villiers in his 30s. 
Free de Priya in his 30s. If we're going to go more now, staying very close to 30, will be 30 by the time the next World Cup comes up. Jacques Ferry in his 30s. Well, in his 30s. Now, Jacques are Ferry. we playing with a bit of fire here, Hanukkah Maya? Well, or uh, are we not? You know, I've said it before. You've mentioned this, that you are worried about the age of the back line. And I've said it before. How wonderful it is to play with experienced player. Sorry, is that... Can you hear me? Yeah. How wonderful it is to have an experience like Jean de Villiers next to me. Wow, if I was a youngster. You know, Springbok trials, or I knew Frick was in my team, or Moff, or and I was playing with Monique Giroux, that spurred me on. Oh, yeah. God, it gave me confidence. Eh? And that's what the Heineken Mayer did there yeah, with Bucky's Berta. And um, and who else did he bring in? From well, Peter Steff. No, you mean the, he the brought uh, back uh, Jacques Ferry. Jacques Ferry, yeah. Jacques Ferry. Yeah, and you know, so it's actually wonderful for youngsters to play with these guys. Eh? It gives you that extra vuma, oomph. Yeah. No doubt. No, look, I'm, I'm not saying that you get rid of all of them, but there is a little slight danger that those guys as a, a collectively may just just be <laughs> over the hill a little well, bit. I That's well, why you're saying bring in somebody like Hurson or Jan Safentain. Yeah. Yes, I, I like I that. Did I, do you think Heineken may have missed a trick in not playing Etzebeth and Peter Steff in the Scottish Test? Or? Oh, definitely. Yeah, Peter Steff and Etzebeth, done. Yeah. Best locks in South Africa. And also, I like Jean de Villiers as a captain. I think he's good he, with the referees. How old they is he? They all like him. He's Everybody. 32. No, but uh, you've got a good point, Jay. So I think, you know, but like I say, don't get rid of all of them. But you, it's just an area where statistically, and I, I'm sure I'm repeating myself, that in World Soccer Cups and in World Rugby Cups, on the whole, and I think we got it absolutely to, to perfection, Jay White, in 2007, Average age of the teams have been 26 and a half. Average number of caps, 40. And, uh, that's, and that's in soccer mm. and in rugby. Obviously, there are exceptions. I mean, England had a very old side in 2003 with Martin Johnson and Neil Back and, no. and Richard Hill and all those guys. Um, but they were, you know, they were a very experienced side. Um, but th obviously, you know, there are, there are exceptions to the rule. That was the Blades on Ball Show. Join the voice of South African rugby on your wireless next Monday for more unbelievable memories and banter. Until then, stay classy, like 20-year-old Glenn Morangi classy.